Welcome to Blind Ranger Outdoors. We're here on the Greenbrier River, beautiful Watoga State Park in West Virginia. Getting ready to embark on a... Came in yesterday uh, knowing that the river was way too high to float, but we knew it was on its way down and we think by tomorrow morning it'll be in about perfect condition for not only floating but to do some smallmouth bass fishing. Our original plan was to go to Missouri. We had a seven night trip planned on the Jacks Fork River and the current river in the Ozark National Scenic Riverway. Well, the day before we were leaving, the river spiked up to uh, like 12 feet. Park Service closed the river down. It was a 750 mile drive for us from here in West Virginia and not knowing if or when they were going to open up the river. So we shifted gears and decided to come down and do an awesome river here in our own backyard. And uh, it'll be the upper section of Greenbrier. Brackens up there, found him a ramp patch, digging us some West Virginia delicacy for dinner tonight. Not sure. So you did, you found some? All right, so all you people out there in YouTube land that doesn't know what a ramp is, that's what they look like. A little on the, uh, what do we call it? late in the season ramp. It's a little bigger than ideal, but they make a fine supper with some fried taters and bacon. Yep. Good job, Kraken. No problem. All right, gang's all here for a float tomorrow. We got the Kraken, my usual compadre over there. We got Colonel Shoop, seen him on previous floats. The authentic mountain man, Mike Smith, also the YouTube sensa sensation. We're getting ready to have a dinner tonight of fried taters, ramps, country ham. Short. You want to be what? One, One ramp short. short. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to put in on tomorrow a clover lick and probably take out at Marlington. Is that right? No. No, oh, eventually. But eventually. Not, yeah. All right. Yeah, that's right. There it is. West Virginia ramps, red beans and rice, country ham. Cracking out did himself. We we'll see. We'll we'll take a little bit because we've already ate. <laughs> Putting on this morning at uh, Clover Lick on the Greenbrier. I'm going to go 15 miles downriver to the town of Marlington. Uh, river is running at 4.4. I uh, probably won't do any fishing because the uh, river was most of the way is going to be moving too fast and uh, pretty murky too, but we ought to have a nice float. I've floated the Greenbrier many times through the years, but always on the middle and lower sections. This is my first time on the upper section. It's a gorgeous stretch of river with very few cabins and camps along the way. Also, the Greenbrier River Trail follows along the river for about 75 miles. Colonel's over there ciphering his gauges. We floated 15 miles yesterday from Clover Lick to Marlington, gauge height of 4.4. So Walt's putting that in his book. Kraken's getting their breakfast fixed up this morning. Well, we're getting ready to put on a little run today from Buckeye down to Seabrook Bridge. Short run, probably only about seven miles. Waiting on Walt and Mike to show up. There are the fishermen.
<laughs> like Walt's allergic to white water. The Greenbrier River is 162 miles long, making it one of the longest free-flowing, undammed rivers in the eastern United States. Coming into Seabird, the end of today's float. Nice, relaxing float today. Seabird Bridge, that's her takeout. I'll hold down the fort. We'll be back. Guys are heading to get the, the vehicles from the put in. So right. We're camping here at Watoga State Park. Rick Knotts, the filmmaker. Mike Smith, the guide. Ken McClinic, the practice maker. And me, the supper maker. <laughs> We've been canoeing the Greenbrier River, which is right behind us here. I can see it back there, and it's a beautiful river. One of the, it may be one, well, it is at least one of the most beautiful rivers in the state. Undammed. Some say good fishing, but we don't do any good. But anyway, Watoga, we're in the Riverside Campground. There's three camp, campgrounds, this one here, <coughs> and uh, <coughs> the old campground, which is Really, a really nice campground too. It's just not close to the river. <clears throat> and then the uh, primitive campground down Laurel Run. Uh, we've been here three days. <clears throat> I went turkey hunting one day, and these boys have been fishing two days. We've not done any good with turkeys or fishing. However, uh, we've had a great time. Now, how, uh, Watoga is 10,000 acres, our largest state park, and one of the first state parks, built by the CCCs back in the 30s. There's 36 cabins here, <clears throat> there's a beautiful lake, I don't know how many miles of beautiful trails if you're a hiker. Uh, they've got, uh, of course, that's outdoor swimming pool, and the recreation building, and the uh, CCC Museum, it's really probably, and we were talking about Ken and I yesterday, it's probably the epitome of state parks in, in, in the United States of America. I was stationed here from, as ranger from uh, 1984 to 1992. Wonderful time, wonderful job. But you, need to, you need to visit if you can. Uh, and Kenny, was, the Kraken was here two years in college, right? And what years was that? <laughs> Tell on yourself how old you are. 79 and 80. 79 and 80. And the mountain man over there, you were never stationed here, right? No, but, but I would come down here for special events, find lost people. When <clears throat> somebody wasn't here, I would, you know, run patrol and stuff like that every now and then. But you, are, you also... Go ahead. Mountain Battlefield. Yeah, and you had a section of the Greenbrier River Trail that you yeah, oversaw, right? I took right? care of Duke Mountain Battlefield, it's a war site, Bear Town with the natural area, rock cliffs and crevices, 15 mile stretch of the Greenbrier River Trail. Well, in my only, I guess, <laughs> tenure down here was my very short term as superintendent of Cass, which also gave me 
10 or 15 miles of the rail trail, right? Yeah. I would have had. Yeah, it was divided up among five different parks. The northern one to Cast, and Watoga had a section, and Droop Mountain had a section. Oh, I forgot. Sen Cast, then Seneca, then Watoga, Droop Mountain, and Greenbrier State Forest all took care of various parts of the Greenbrier River Trail. 75 miles of it. Well, it's definitely one of the finest state parks in the country. So for today's float, uh, the Kraken and I are going to put in our boat, put in right here at camp, Riverside Camp around at Watoga, and float down about seven or eight miles down to uh, Beard. And uh, Mike's going to solo in Walt's kayak, and uh, this is said Walt's out turkey hunting. So our ultimate goal today is wild turkey breast and fish for dinner. Stay tuned, not really expecting it to happen. Getting ready to chow down on breakfast. The Kraken's camping kitchen. Fried eggs, country ham, hash browns, and buttered bagels. Hard to beat. Along the Greenbrier River. You good back there? Yeah. All right, off we go. Day three. Yeah. Said off we go. Day three. Riverside Camp Crown the Beard. Mike shot down there pretty quick before even as quick as we got on. Your handle snapped off your pole. How old was it? I don't think I've ever heard of that happening before. I didn't even pull that hard. Oh, buddy, appears to go swimming up here. So I'm gonna try to get back upstream and help him. Well, let's hear the story, Mike. This felt like going for a swim? Yeah, I hooked my line on a, on a rock and let myself get sideways, working it to get it loose and come up on a big sloped rock and it tilted me just enough to fill up water. Filled the whole boat just like in a second. <laughs> so, cold? No, it ain't bad. First, I got a... The first shock was a little cold. I got a rain jacket here to no, I'm keep not, the wind off of you. I got a wool uh, shirt in my dry bag here. Okay. I'm good. It, it really wasn't cold at all once you just got over the initial shock. Well, the wind's blowing and the cloud is over. Like... Yeah, I tried to get it up there uh, on that rock and empty it out in the middle of the river, but there was just no way. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to take it to shore to get the water out of it. We were trying to get back up to help you. Well, I had no reason to. I was in good shape. Just... I, I got your pole handle here. Oh, yeah. 
it, I think the rest of it may be gone, but it's not. It's no problem. Anything else missing? No. Tackle box is fine. Dry bag's fine. Fishing pole's fine. I did lose my lure, but you know, fine and dandy. Well, well, thanks. Excitement. Thanks for living it up my video. Yeah. You took one for the team. Well, I mean, you got to have fun. Yeah. I can tell Walt now, last trip I broke his paddle, and this time I wrecked his boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the kayak may not be. There's the first company of the trip on the Green Briar. We're a couple miles left. In the three days, that's the first ones we've seen. Take out of beards just the head winding down our three day upper Greenbrier float trip. Turned out to be a really nice trip, particularly for the last second. Just a reminder we were supposed to be in Missouri on a seven day float trip. Shifted gears and came over here and made the best out of it. Had great weather, really good water level. Fishing hadn't been too good. We think it's because the water's so cold and that it came up so high and it was dropping fast. But it's been a good trip. Thirteen minutes early. Real good time. At the Maple Festival one time, Chris and, and Pickens and Chris and I just wandered all over and finally we went back toward the, the car and there was, you know, cars lined up along the road out there forever and nobody around and I had to take a whiz. So I went out there, you know, beyond the last car, right behind the last car. Turned around the whiz. Well, it turned out they had those darkened windows, <laughs> and there was a man and a woman sitting in there. And he starts hollering at her, "Are you pissing on my car?" <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, what is it you're making for supper? We are having poke salad, freshly harvested from the mountains of Pocahontas County. Uh, while on a turkey excursion, I got I got sidetracked to the poke patch, <laughs> so we're having. We're having uh, uh, turkey or poke salad. We're having uh, cherry souffle, will come up, which will come out of this box. It'll be a, it's just like magic. About the about 21, what's that fella? It comes out of the genie. The genie will come out of the box here, and we'll have a cherry souffle right here, made on the charcoal Dutch oven. Over there. And since the boys didn't catch any fish today, and I didn't kill any turkeys today, we ain't having turkey breast, we ain't having fish, <laughs> we're having the old backup spam. So All right. I love spam. If that don't suit you, go somewhere else. <laughs> My whole hey. life I ate treat. Well, there's the cherry souffle. Cooking away in the Dutch oven. Be dessert here in a little bit. Just like it is. There's the the cherry souffle. Cherry souffle. Lovely. Should, should be good. It is good. beautiful. Yeah. Get Mike hooked up. Get ready to take off. We'll be breaking camp in the morning and heading out ourselves. Oh, really enjoyed it. Great time. Yeah, Mike. Great seeing you again, as See always. See you again, Rick. Thanks for everything. Oh, yep, Mike. Enjoyed it. Thanks for all the food. Well, we're packed up. We're packed up and ready to head out. Had a nice five-day camping trip. Three nights on the, or three days floating on the Greenbrier River. 
Upper Greenbrier. We did 30 miles over three days. The water level was outstanding. I had a great campsite here at Watoga State Park and it's good uh, fellowship with some good friends. That we've known each other for 35 plus years, so it's good to get together with them all. Well, thanks for watching Blind Ranger Outdoors, and we'll see you on the next river.